You are listening to the MPZ Law Firm Show. Immigration woes, visa serve knows. US and Canadian immigration and nationality lawyers who speak your language. I'm Vijaya, back with attorneys of the NPC Law Group, providing counsel to organizations and individuals worldwide on complex U.S. and Canadian immigration and nationality law issues. Barrister, solicitor, and Canadian attorney Gagan Mundra is here. And hi, Gagan, how are you doing? Good, Vijaya. How are you doing? I'm doing very well and better now that you're here. So let's talk about sponsoring your spouse who's out of status uh, in a Canadian immigration. How does one go about doing that? That's a really nice and interesting question. And before we jump on to discussing the nuances of sponsoring an auto-status spouse in Canada, I'll just take a moment to describe the basic requirements of both the sponsor and the foreign spouse. Mm -hmm. So typically, a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident who is at least 18 years old can sponsor their spouse or common-law partner who are living in Canada or who are living overseas. They should not be receiving social assistance and they can provide basic needs such as food and shelter, etc., to their foreign spouse. Mm -hmm. However, a Canadian citizen cannot sponsor their spouse if they are under removal orders, have not met residency requirements, have become inadmissible to Canada due to criminality grounds, or their citizenship is being revoked. So these are the obligations and requirements of the sponsor. Uh -huh. Going a step further, we discuss about the requirements of a foreign spouse. We discussed two different scenarios, Vijaya, over here. Mm -hmm. One scenario one is what if the person who is living outside of Canada has committed or has been convicted of a crime outside Canada? Can they be sponsored? And the answer is yes. These individuals can apply for criminal rehabilitation and can be so sponsored by, for the foreign spouse applications. They can do this either by submitting the criminal rehab application before the sponsorship application or they can do it simultaneously. There will, yeah. of course, be some delays if you are doing a simultaneous applications as the government is going to hold back the application till a rehab application is approved. We now come to the second scenario, which is whether the foreign spouse who is inside Canada and they have not maintained a status in Canada, are they eligible for family sponsorship? And the answer again is yes. The government of Canada has introduced a policy in 2005 under 825 of the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act, stating that regardless of the immigration status, spouses or common law partners can apply for permanent residences from within Canada in accordance with the same criteria as applicable to other applicants under this classification. This policy actually supports the government's intention to keep the families united and facilitate the processing of genuine spouse or common law partners already living in Canada. Mm -hmm. Okay. But A25 applications are being used only to facilitate all genuine out of state uh, status spouses, and hence these are under bigger scrutiny by the government. The policy defines lack of status as persons who have overstayed a visa, visitor record, work permit, or a study permit, have worked or studied without being authorized to do so under the Act, have entered Canada without the required visa or other document under the regulations, or have, or have entered Canada without a valid passport, travel document, etc. Mm -hmm. However, lack of status does not refer to any other inadmissibility, including failure to obtain permission to enter Canada after being deported or persons who have entered Canada with a fraudulent or improperly obtained passport. Mm -hmm. So as you'll see, Vijaya, individuals applying under uh, A25 policy must also understand to meet all other requirements of a sponsorship application besides the lack of status. Mm -hmm. They must ensure to provide documents supporting bona fide intention of the marriage and that it is not used as a backdoor entry to fix the immigration status in Canada. Mm -hmm. If they do not provide this information on their own regarding their status or work 
uh, work without authorization, such foreign spouses will be removed from Canada and banned from entering for five years due to misrepresentation and withholding of material information in their application. So wow. a Canadian spouse may also obviously will bear some consequences. Mm -hmm. So this really sums up how critical it is to understand the policies in force and provide all the correct information to take benefit in a bona fide marriage with a spouse who lacks immigration status in Canada. Mm -hmm. Wow, lots to consider and thank you for that uh, Gagan, uh, great information right there. So the NPC Law Group is your one-stop shop for the entire range of US and Canadian immigration matters. Don't hesitate to reach out to them today. Log on to visaserve.com or call them at 201-670-0006. And as a bonus, you also get a special discount.